In this video, I want to show you an alternative to ad blocking on your mobile device. You can do apps on Android and there's content blockers on iOS, but they don't work that great. So I want to show you how to block ads from the network side, which will apply to every single device on your network. And this is through PF Blocker NG, a package that you can install on your PFSense router. Now, as you see, I have PF Blocker NG enabled on my PFSense router, and I also have ad block enabled on my browser. And the reason why is because PF Blocker NG does not catch everything and it is not perfect, but you can make it perfect with a little bit of tweaking. But for me, I feel like ad block works really good every single time. So I actually have PF Blocker NG only here for mobile devices. So I want to show you what I have set up here and then I want to show you how it works on mobile devices. So if we go to firewall and we enable our PF Blocker NG, you do have to get this from the package manager. We can enable it and there are several different settings you can tweak and change. Under DNS BL feeds, we have a list of our uh, sources that we have set up to block ads from. And I just went with the very basic one that it came with, easy list ads and malicious. Those are default ones. I haven't really changed any of them at all. And I found for the most part, it does a fairly decent job on desktop computers of blocking ads without any sort of ad block extension but it does still let some through, including YouTube ads. And I'm not here to tell you that you should get rid of ads. I'm just showing you what it looks like. I'm not necessarily saying that you need to ignore ads altogether. But with these basic ones set up, we can block ads very easily on our mobile devices. So let's go ahead and hop over to an iPhone. I want to show you what we have going on here. So if we head over to settings and we go down to Safari and content blockers, I do have one enabled, which is Adblock Plus. It's not that great. And now if we go ahead, turn that off, we go to a website. As you can see, there are no ads on this at all. Typically, there are white spaces that are created where these ads used to be when you're just using PF Blocker NG. And sometimes it looks a little weird, but I noticed it has approved over the several months I've been using it has improved and it does work a little bit better. You can see up here towards the top, we do have a little bit of a blank spot. If we turn Adblock Plus back on, and we go back here and we reload, you can see nothing really changes. So that's why I really do prefer PF Blocker NG over any sort of content blocker because it really does not do much of a difference. So that's pretty much it for this quick video. I just wanted to show you how you can block ads on every single device through your network rather than your individual device specifically. It works pretty well, and I will leave a link to PF Blocker NG if you wanna learn more about it in the description below. But anyway, that's gonna do for this video. Thank you for watching. This is Mark, and I'll see you in the next one.